best science fiction novels of the 80s. The 80s were a wonderful decade for science fiction books. It was, although not widely appreciated at the time, a golden age of speculative literature with new styles and themes flourishing, while the older strands of the tapestry were woven ever more richly. The subgenre of cyberpunk was launched by William Gibson and promoted by Bruce Sterling. There was a resurgence of hard sci-fi. Fantasy headed in unexpected directions with new major voices, and horror with Stephen King and John Crowley leading the pack darkened into the splatterpunk subgenre which held that the supernatural was part of a spectrum of terror that included the reality of serial killers, genocide, child molestation and the like. Sophisticated writers created cross-genre books that combined aspects of fantasy and science fiction in new ways, most notably J.G. Ballard and Gene Wolfe. Here are my top five in reverse order. Five. Contact by Carl Sagan. It was probably sheer luck that caused the many radio telescopes of the Argus project to point at the star system of Vega at exactly the right time. If the telescopes hadn't been looking at the star that, na that night, the scientists watching over the signals picked up by the telescopes may never have discovered the first sign of life outside our planet. But they caught a broadcast of prime numbers, a message that would change the course of Earth's history forever. 4. Speaker for the Dead by Orson Scott Card 3,000 planet-bound years have fled since Ender Wiggin won humanity's war with the buggers by totally destroying them. Ender remains young, travelling the stars at relativistic speeds. A hundred years or more might pass while he experiences a month-long voyage. In 3,000 years, his books, The Hive Queen and The Hegemon, have become holy writ, and the name of Ender Anathema. He is the Xenocide, the one who killed an entire race of thinking, feeling beings, the only other sapient race humankind has found in all the galaxy. The only ones, that is, until the planet called Lusitania was discovered and colonised. Number 3. Hyperion by Dan Simmons On the world called Hyperion, beyond the law of the hegemony of man, there waits the creature called the Shrike. There are those who worship it, there are those who fear it, and there are those who have vowed to destroy it. In the valley of the time tombs, where huge brooding structures move backward through time, the Shrike waits for them all. On the eve of Armageddon, with the entire galaxy at war, seven pilgrims set forth on a final voyage to Hyperion, seeking the answers to the unsolved, riv unsolved riddles of their lives. Each carries a desperate hope and a terrible secret, and one may hold the fate of humanity in his hands. 2. Necromancer by William Gibson Case had been the sharpest data thief in the business, until vengeful former employees crippled his nervous system. But now a new and very mysterious employer recruits him for a last chance run. The target, an unthinkably powerful artificial intelligence, orbiting Earth in the service of the sinister Tessier Ashpool business clan. With a dead man riding shotgun and Molly mirror-eyed street samurai to watch his back. Case embarks on an adventure that ups the ante on an entire genre of fiction. 1. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card In order to develop a secure defence against a hostile alien race's next attack, government agencies breed child geniuses and train them as soldiers. A brilliant young boy, Andrew Ender Wiggin, lives with his kind but distant parents, his sadistic brother Peter, and the person he loves more than anyone else, his sister, Valentine. Peter and Valentine were candidates for the soldier training program, but didn't make the cut. Young Ender is the Wiggin drafted to the orbiting battle school for rigorous military training. Is Ender the general Earth needs? 
But Ender is not the only result of the genetic experiments. The war with the buggers has been raging for a hundred years, and the quest for the perfect general has been underway for almost as long. Ender's two older siblings are every bit as unusual as he is, but in very different ways. Between the three of them lie the abilities to remake a world. If, that is, the world survives. Ender's Game is the winner of the 1985 Nebula Award for Best Novel and the 1986 Hugo Award for Best Novel. Introducing Passage to Redemption by the Crew Having read this book, I suspect it will be on my top five list of sci-fi classics for this decade. It is an epic story about artefacts from the early Mayan civilization that prophesy the end of mankind. A lost Michelangelo painting that holds a secret. Mysterious visitors from another place or time. A clock ticking down to December the 21st, 2012. A race against time to save mankind. The crew consisted of 11 writers from all around the world. The writers came from all walks of life, cultures, religions and levels of prosperity. Although the one common thread was the chosen language of English, every attempt was made to ensure the project reflected the great diversity of people in our world. This was not just a project to write a book, it was to demonstrate how complete strangers can work together creatively for a common cause. Click on the link below in the description to purchase Passage to Redemption from Amazon.